Now, when the organisers of London 2012 Olympics asked for volunteers to help run the Games, they were overwhelmed by the number of applications. And this week, they're starting to choose who will be given the honour of taking part as the so-called Games Maker. We'll hear from some of the hopefuls in just a moment. First, here's a taste of what might be in store for them. Right now, though, it's time to get the news where you are. See you in a moment. Now, gang culture has been blamed for a wave of fatal stabbings and shootings across Britain. But from today, police in England and Wales are being given new powers to tackle the problem. Dependent on a whole range of expertise from the teacher who really understands how boys learn and how girls learn. Uh, the time, 7.53. Hollywood's latest pre-Oscars awards ceremony was held last night. Once again, good news for the British. BAFTAs are the 13th, mm -hmm. uh, Sunday the 13th. So two big awards Be interesting, coming up. won't it, to see how the King's speech does. Uh, it's time now to get the news, weather and travel wherever you are. Oh, we've got two soul legends joining us on the sofa this morning. Ben E. King and Gary U.S. Bonds, and they're joining forces for a UK tour which starts tomorrow. Their songs, in case you need reminding, include some classic hits such mm -hmm. as Stand By Me, Spanish Harlem and Quarter to Three. Uh, just a reminder, the tour begins on the 1st of February. That's tomorrow, of course, travelling across England and Wales and that lasts until the end of March. So a busy patch coming up for you two. <laughs> That's it from us for this morning. Uh, tomorrow we've got Jimmy Dirty here to tell us about his new show. It's called A Farmer's Life for Me. Also hearing from the renowned British architect Lord Norman Foster. That's all from us for today. Back at 6am tomorrow. Have bye bye. A good day. Bye bye.